Start recording again. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play the Ottomans. Here in Evil 4 Common Sense. We are nearing the end of the game. And we had some disastrous war with a lot of rebels just before our little break here. Now I have done a little bit of cleaning up for my troops because I really wanna want to keep my standard stacks around again. And I've made a new concept for a siege stack, which will be over here soon. And of course I've decided what I want to do. So I, I'm forced for eight more years to be in a regency. Which, you know, it's it's annoying, but it's not it's not that crippling. Sadly we can't declare any wars, we can, however. I guess we could annex even somebody like Muscovy. Oh no, never mind. We can't annex Muscovy, of course, because he's in March. But we could probably annex somebody else. <laughs> or not, because our vassals are actually fairly sizable, and they're they're decent vassals. Like I like where they are. Maybe we should. And next, oddly, because that would be a nice area to have myself. I really don't think that's worth the trouble. No, we're just using our the rest of our diplomats to annoy the shit out of countries. And I think the revolt map mode is only showing our own risk. Oh, and that of our vassals, which is nice. But still. We can, however, try if we can fund some rebels. Don't really have any rebels going for them. How about Spain? Support rebels? Not really. Can't even see how much it would end up with. How much they would end up with. Also, that's very expensive support rebels. Well, either way. What we really want to do is just build up. That's what I decided I want to do. We're going to get to that million manpower. We are going to get to our force limit. That will be the biggest. And we're also going to get a ton of buildings done. We're also just going to clean up our armies even more. The ones here in Italy still have to be a little bit cleaned up also. What is his skill at? Well... Diplomatic would really be the best right there. Now nah, we're going for administrative. We're going, to, we're going to core a lot of stuff. So let's just nicely standardized armies can go and unite. We do have some less than stellar armies over here, but that will change soon enough. of cannons here. Oh, let's keep all the So yeah, this this will be a very much an episode of rebuilding. Wait, it's wrong. I need that many. I we only need six more. And two more calf. Because I really want to 
have my army standardized and make them pack a punch by lining them up on my borders and as soon as I can I'll just go balls to wall into huge wars. I just want to have fun now. Fun with all the power that I have. There, standardizing the army. Very nice. And over here we have we are actually recruiting right now. Also apparently we need more men. They aren't even enough to siege that fort. I don't care, they can go into a coalition all they want. Because really we'll be able to handle it. We want to send our trade navies out. One will go to. Where is it? Come on, Laka, where are you? Malaka, there we go. I think I might be sending a second one to Malaka because that's really where most of the trade gets stuck. Malacca. Now I do want to send another one right here to the Wolf of Aiden. They will be able to heal up before they go, but still, let's find it. The Gulf of Aiden. There we go, send. And where else? India is completely and utterly fine. The trade goes nicely in whatever direction I want. I could send one to China. Where's this one going? Oh, this one is going to the Philippines, never mind. Hmm. The Philippines are also feeding in here nicely. I guess I'm just going to actually let's just shore up. Alexandria. And Alexandria. Good. Now, let's see, do you have any other fleets around? Fleet, 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 fleet. Who ordered one non-standardized fleet? I'm just gonna turn this into a standard transport fleet. So we're going to need one more trade fleet for this. And... Whoa, game, come on. And just 10 more transports. One, two, three, four, five, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good enough. The trade map mode really, really hits hard on this game. Well,
Now this will essentially just be a waiting game because we can't do much. Most of these nations are very stable. Even if we support rebels. Try to get out of Panzer Revolt here, but I doubt that will be possible since it's their homeland, so. Not even a little bit of unrest. Not even, maybe. Just sent that army back down here Where the real armies await twelve One more standard army. There, much better. Whew. I mean, if I have the time, just waiting essentially till my ruler comes of age, then why not prepare for a really, really big war. Mm -hmm. I'll take that military tech. Salads, okay, and Pomeranian. Okay, got it. That's all right. Do we not have any more? Oh, one guy is still around somewhere. He's already sieging. I guess we are gonna put that to use, and it's a very good general. Not the greatest, but still very good. I would hope so, because we do have some ideas now. I do want to get to that discipline. Don't make our armies much more competitive. Getting a total of 10% discipline. On the other hand, I can't fall behind on tech. So very first thing, I will tech up my military. Spending 10 points a month to an X, that's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna build too many troops right now because I do want to let the money accumulate a bit as well as my manpower to come back up. Still have seven years of regency. Pick up the 
this army. <coughs> Which is not quite standard composition, annoyingly enough. And I will be building a couple of siege stacks, not too many, but just a couple. So I can just siege the provinces much more quickly. Be much easier to handle all of those troops around. Why do you have one infantry too few? Do I have to create another infantry for you? Do that. So siege stacks will be units of 30 with way too much infantry or way too little infantry and calf but a ton of cannons. That amount will ensure that on the first day they'll already have the plus 5 to make sieges a lot quicker. So Prussia will be gone soon enough. And again, these 20, or should I say 40 stacks that I'm building here. They're going to be my main army, and I'm just going to merge them whenever I, ha whenever I can. I'll just run over the enemy, that's really the plan with them. If I have to, I'll put them back, or put them on the back burner. And just leave them behind my sieging armies, but I'd rather just destroy the enemy armies right out, right out of the gate. We do need that next technology, that military tactics, and that morale that's just, just extremely important. <clears throat> tactics and morale. Oh yeah. Last bit of tact, morale and tactics. So. Supply limit next. No oh, flanking. I think we have all the units, or will have as soon as this one comes. And after that, there will only be one more increase. Really. Not sure, does level 32 give us anything? I don't think so. Oh, yes. There. Oh, actually, level 32 is fairly important. More cannon fire. More infantry fire as well? No, that's 31. And some cap shock. <clears throat> Should I also try to have enough troops everywhere? Maybe people will even leave the military coalition by the time that we get out of this regency. Can we gain any amount of respectable manpower here? <whistles> That's a lot of manpower. Yes, please. No, it's not quite that. Mount I'm getting from Constantinople, but still. Successful conversions despite oh Bernard's defender of the Zuni faith. Oh, dare they. I guess if the coalition fires they have to defend me, probably. 
Unless they're in the coalition. No, they're not. Well, have fun defending me. Now, did I not send a fleet over here already for transport? One transport fleet over here. One transport fleet is... What? What are you doing? Oh, of course, they're transporting some. What? No. They chose that fleet? What? I don't know what's going on. Well, I'll be sending that one over there then. So I would really like to visit Bernai. Don't take attrition, please. Also, they literally just came over here for that. Oh, do they they combine on auto transport? I did not know that. That is fucking stupid. some transport troops up here so come and transport there I will disable auto transport because I don't want it combining fleets much as it's very useful for Ireland hopping. I don't see if it as a good thing when I suddenly just have half the amounts of individual fleets going around picking up my troops. Troops await. Need any help? Can't even do I can't even force peace. Could probably enforce peace on those guys Why are you not valid for enforced peace? What do I need to do? Well that's nice at least, they're leaving the coalition now
an extra three ships. That makes no sense. How did it lead all the extra ships? Maybe there are still some other ships being created for some reason. those buildings everywhere next time next game they'll just be I'll just plaster everything with manpower buildings Expensive is this each stack? 600. The standard army is 300. Yeah, that's about right. Austria does not fear us anymore. Token troops, maybe. But my colonies are very strong, at least most of them. Auto Normalis is a bit weak. So is Autica, especially considering its neighbors. Why would you enter a military alliance against me? Or a coalition against me? That's just not. Yay, more money! Because that 100 ducats matter. such an idiotic reason. I guess stability has become fairly cheap.
We'll be ticking up as soon as we start hitting the max. But who knows? We might, you know, we might still be able to get another 0.5% here. Actually, we are not going to get another 5% here. Just is impossible. We can't be ticking up that quickly. For this one, we can wait. Eastern New Model Army. It's perfectly well balanced. And perfectly weaker in everything. Yeah, I'm going for the Lancers. Flying battery, so much shock. Or so much fire, I mean. I think I'll be able to take another another idea soon. Oh, well, there's the inflation reduction guy, which I think I can use right now. I guess there's still a little bit of unrest. Good. Enjoy people feeling safe. Four transports fleet sh fleets should be enough. I have one in Europe, one in one over in the Americas, and one in Asia. Hope there will be plenty. Oh yes, get stability. Hopefully I'll be able. Actually, I can probably just calculate it. If I will actually be able to get up to that million manpower. Thousand. Oh, we should easily be able to get there. Yes, we should easily be able to get there and actually increase our army size massively. Speaking of our army, probably good if we lowered maintenance for now. Don't really have anybody to reinforce, and well, I guess there's some rebel chance, but not huge. Should probably also core our land, that would help. I believe that Savoy broke free. I have no idea why. They didn't have any rebels. They were fully sieged.
just making the last couple of colonies because why not? The world has essentially been entirely colonized. Which means soon we'll be able to free up another idea group. Which we might use for military. As long as we still have time. Increase the flow of time a bit. like this because we're just gonna re retract this colonist and start in a second colony we don't need tons of colonies but at least a few probably going to go for three colonies to over here and just that last one in the new world. Also, I guess we could also just wall off here. Just in case Spain wants to call nice Siberia. leaving the military collision thinking they're safe very good and whew, look at that force limit we, we might not be getting there it might be a little bit high I'm just thinking it, it might but you know who knows maybe with enough technology we'll be able to push it So we're still a very primitive government. Maybe we could better it up somehow. We could be an absolute monarchy, which would give us a plus five discipline instead of this unjustified demands, which is not that great anymore. Or we could get an accepted culture threshold bonus, which I'm not averse to because we could add the policy. Where is it? Where is our policy? Here, except the culture threshold, minus 10%. Then minus 20% in total. Which would probably not do anything for us. Minus 20% though mean everything that's above 1% would become accepted. Which to be fair, that's a couple. We could get a couple of cultures accepted and this world conquest, which would increase our manpower quite considerably. And our income. Hmm. Definitely not an administrative monarchy. It's just a little bit of income. <laughs> Where's that Scotland? It's not. Where are you? Somewhere over here, no? Oh, Esther Button. No, Esther Gotland. Oh, there it is. Found it. Good, good. Leave the military coalition, you fools. Again, 100,000 and a little achievement will pop up. 
Nothing special. Just a million manpower. They're getting annexed fairly quickly. is full of independent nations which is funny because it was mainly just the old countries England and Spain fighting and releasing them from each other okay maybe I should just increase the funding for one month that should be enough oh they fired already crap they still died. No matter the funding. Oh, no. Bleed maintenance has to stay up. What? Oh, that's just annoying. I thought I sent one of them over there. Apparently I didn't. Let's recall because this one takes forever. And resend over here. That's fine, just for a little bit of cleanup so I have a nice looking country in the end. exactly three more years. Also, that's a decent reserve. Oh, you are wrong there, sir. There is a point, and the point is to get more money. Why do I need that money, you might ask? Well, you see... I'm way below my force limit and I do want to continue building up. Now let's first build let's see. Start with four siege stacks. Let's build four siege stacks, that's hundred and twenty people. Which puts up up us up to a total of five siege stacks, so we will be able to do five sieges at the same time. Which will probably be enough, I mean at least for dedicated sieges. So let's see what we can do here for just regular stacks. In fact, I'll just click on it twice here. See, we need that money, just like we need that manpower, because we want more, because Europe must pay for that last war. Just took, it took far too long for us to do anything in that last war. That was mainly due to our organization, I think if we had were better organized, had more troops, put more money behind it, had them where they needed to be, then we would have won no problem. But we didn't win without a problem. We won with a lot of problems. And we could say, even say that we lost because, well, we lost some troops and we lost some land. Since our vassal collapsed,
So also our army was pitifully small for such a large nation. But that will change. Well, as there's still Fort Spree to be gone on, it's not a not not a huge ton of men that we can get out of this, but still, still a decent enough amount. We have two years in order to truly build up. And then we'll go into a phase of total war again. Let's see, get some more docks. Because I do want that naval force limit to grow even more. Should probably also just grow my navy a bit. Build one more trade slash transport fleet. There we go. I can do that. But then I become a lot more honorable. are a couple of shitty forts though. I hate how it keeps on building forts. Like there's an event that actually makes forts and you don't have the option to just destroy them right away. You would have to go in each province and then destroy it. Hmm. Still forts do still have a purpose inside of your country. And that is to deter rebels. Like rebels will siege around them, yes, but they will also be forced to go and siege that one fort that's in their area. I don't need too many, you just have to have them dotted around. Some more guns to convert. So welcome to our siege stacks. Well, we finally have over a million troops. But we all know that it's not enough. See what this was that we just deleted. Probably an infantry though. Mm -hmm. How are we doing an hour? Not too bad, we might get some Catholic zealots rising up. 
but I think we can safely dispense of our advisor here and take this one. So I would rather like to get some reduced inflation here. Still two more years of Regency. really like to get rid of these wasteland provinces or well the to be colonized provinces just colonize them already how much money am I spending on forts anyways of course, I should have mothballed, I idiot. 285, wow. 664, or 166, sorry. Oh. 166 mothballed forts now. Yeah, next time I'm gonna try a religion game and see how that goes. If I can't get my revolt risk lower than it is now. It seems that it might be a bit slower to get there, but then once you have everything converted, revolts would be very unlikely. At least it seems that way. Not sure though. <laughs> Where do I want to put you? I really hate that I have to get through this useless idea first before I get to the useful ones again. Discipline. Edens in our country anymore. Again, just 
a little bit over a year left. So now we have to be thinking towards the war. money. Now the one thing that I'm thinking might not hold up is the manpower. Essentially, everybody's out of the <laughs> out of the coalition now, despite having nine hundred over aggressive expansion against them. <laughs> I've really gotten to the point where aggressive expansion is not the factor that decides if they join the coalition or not. The real factor. It's just how many troops I have. And the fact that I have more troops than the rest of the world combined, well, that kind of makes me safe. Okay, Austria. to a thousand ships eventually which will be an accomplishment enough itself come on let's find the cheapest ones and I wish I could increase my piety right now but again still waiting not waiting for that long anymore Jesus Christ, how much am I paying for all these forts? I need forts. I know there are people that hate forts, but... I still think they are useful. I, I'm having way too many rebels this game. That I could just not have forts. You can really save your ass, because rebels just... Right now I'm only paying 142 ducats. But that will go up as soon as I'm off bottom.
mothball all the things. Get ready for war. Give them pain. Let them suffer. So I recall that one. And colonize. Yay! Maybe we'll be able to colonize the rest of these before the end of the game. That would be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? Also, Poland still features a ton of these weak forts. So we should, shouldn't really have too many problems with them. And our poor vassal will get its, his course back as soon as we destroy Poland. Take as much as we can. And hand over. We're still missing some. One is missing. Two missing. Oh, okay, there's one more being trained right there. Okay. Should have our troops ready to attack Hanover. How many troops do you have? So how much are you worth? 66, way too much. You're horrible Hanover. I'll have it Saxony. Would love to attack you, but actually that might be a better attack right now. I could make short work short work of them. Not let Saxony take in any of their allies. And I mean, my vassal does have some cores over here. Come on, not pants. So I will be able to take land for him. That might be nice. Saxony. 46,000. I should be able to just bum rush him. I'll be fun. Especially since we can make this war very short and sweet. Just get me all the sieging generals. This guy first. Love it. I also made all the channels. All of them. Once again. Destroy the perfect stack of 20. Wasn't one of those ones that I destroyed? Oh well. 
full now. Why are you not combining? Strange. There we go. One cannon missing. Three siege sacks up down there and two up here and five siege sacks is really enough. You're going over cover the troops here in Europe. The reason is siege sacks will have to be protected, they're not you know, we just don't need them everywhere. You almost want to clean out a country before hand, but of course you can't. Ruler came of age. Now we can see what happens when you declare war. Not reconquest. Imperialism, of course. It's a sure missionary strength. And we have some piety again. This battle there, there won't be any need to any other army because 12,000 cannons is overkill for such a low fort. Saxony did join. I didn't declare them co belligerent for a good reason. That would be because they have a lot of allies. Plus, Austria would have joined anyways because they're in the Empire. So, let's try to make these wars quick and sweet. Let's look at those beautiful ship models. Perfect. to siege me down here. So I think I only really have one option. So as long as I don't really need the generals I will not bother. Well however transport both my 80,000 stacks over here to East Frisia and I'll just march them down I should have brought a second fleet up here second fleet of transport I might they might get up there before I can them over there myself. So again they have a huge, I have a fairly big army here but you might be able to just crush them. They're a fairly well balanced army. Of 80,000.
Pomerania doesn't have any allies. So there'll be a conquest soon. Should have brought some troops and that navy. In fact, why don't turn turn it around? No need to send them up there empty-handed. Hmm, they are stopping their siege for my siege stack. Just hide him there. Seen what's coming to them? Is that why they're going away? I don't know, but I certainly don't like it. And again, we can just keep on building our army, seeing if we can actually get to that limit. spending on our few little colonies. Almost 40 ducats. <laughs> 40 ducats for four colonies? That sounds reasonable. Okay. They have come back, so... Go back to Siege in Berlin. See how this goes. Oh, you actually suffered a rival attrition. So let's make sure that we have another tick. Oh, we didn't quite reinforce, but almost. So let's not forget to continuously convert everybody. Boom. Come in with a lot more people. Maneuver 6 general? They do. Horrific. So we have a negative 1. But we do have a lot more men. So we could still win this comfortably. Our cannons are way superior. Just by number. We are suffering quite a few losses though. Follow them. No, there's no way. Can, however, split my army in half essentially. Have both my both my army stacks behind my siege stacks. Just eat their way through the enemy lands very quickly. At least for this time frame. We always have to keep in mind this is a very late game. Do 
good. directly switch into a revolutionary empire? Probably not. Morale of armies, that is pretty damn good. Let's just get over here. Just really quickly take their capital as well. I mean, him owning Ragusa is not that bad, and I mean, he did get buffed a little bit in this patch, but Genoa is also extremely weak usually. So, hey there, buddy. Oh, you're allowed to sex me and Spain. Not very nice. Yeah, stay at war. We are winning this. Not winning this as amazingly as the other battle, but still. Still, we're winning. And I think we'll be able to regain the numbers. Mm, that was a horrible battle, but. Actually, the numbers aren't that bad, looking at it, and lost a little bit more. Good job, Vassal. He does have god generals. Which, of course, we do not, because we are the human players. The only way we could get god generals is if we were... Russia or something. Which of course we are not. <laughs> uh, yes, Humphrey and Independent. It's one of the coolest sounding nations out there. Almost as good as Ravensburg. Again, we are still gaining a lot more men than we are losing. It's a good war for us. It's a very good war for us. Really? 
never seen Genoa being that great. I guess they also kind of nerfed Genoa or nerfed Venice the same way they buffed Genoa. Genoa is a lot more easy has a lot more easy time to get allies and Venice is now doomed. Like before the patch I would usually see Venice in about fifty percent of the time actually ally Austria and now they have no chance of allying them. So let's just keep our Ooh. Sadly, I don't have a better general. Well, that was bad. That's still horrible. Still horrible. Can we just... I'd really love if we could win this war battle, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe. Maybe we'll win. The BBB? Big blue blob? As in reformed or what? Let's just run back. Oh no! No, you fool! Why would you go there? Which army was it? Of course, it's the siege stack. Hermes, what isn't that the one that's up here? Oh no, never mind. Hermes. Here, yes. Maybe. Maybe. Though in my game at one point they actually had like half of the Arabian Peninsula. It was kind of hilarious. Because QQ got ad absolutely wrecked. And I might. I've gotten a lot of suggestions what I could play or what I should play. Also kind of want to do like the Aztecs and do a sunset invasion. That would be great. Hey look, my vassal's actually coming with a decent sized army now. That's something new. Okay, well, see you later. So they got the entirety of Burgundy, I guess, the big blue blob. Happens sometimes. And yes, an even stronger France is kind of scary. Mainly just annoying though. Come on, I lose one battle and that's more war score than the other battles combined. Or the other battle, I should say. Hmm. Hmm, something seems off. Losing a battle is double the war score of winning a battle. Well, so Spain didn't get anything out of that inheritance because usually Spain should then get the inheritance if the emperor is, OP is an OPM. <laughs> Hitting them with the restoration CP. Well, you should have. Attack them right away. Come on. 
I mean, France is weaker than it used to be. Oh, so they need a marriage there. Okay. Wow. So France got it all. Yeah. Good luck, I would say. That happen, happens, happened in my game as well. Austria allying France actually seems to happen quite, a, quite frequently now. Which is just absurd. Why are you standing on my face? Okay. Poland. Hello, Poland. You are the third strongest nation in the world. But Poland, but Poland, but Poland, Poland, Poland. Not in any coalition, are you? No. Silesia. Yeah, no wrong Bohemia. I don't really want to have hand up and over in this battle right now. I guess if I transport some more troops over there it's no problem. I should probably move those down. A bit safer territory. So many troops down there. Very annoying. Well, I guess as soon as I get my backup up here, I'll be weak. Yeah, but I think it gives less, doesn't it? Returning cores. At least conquering core provinces of your vassal gives you very little AE. Gives you some, but not a ton. Hmm, Poland. I really want to attack you now. First, get some more troops up here to fight Hanover and Saxony a bit more efficiently. Also, there are no more coalitions over here, so. Subject of Ming. Protectorate of Ming. God damn it, Ming. You westernized and have them as protectorates. That's just mean. 
<laughs> How many troops does Ming have? 70,000. <laughs> you could have won that. One to four chances. You just need to pick your battles right and then no problem. Or at least it's not impossible to win a 1 to 50 coalition war. A uh, 1 to 4. <laughs> Do we want to attack Ming right away? Well, that depends on their military tech. Sure, they're 5 levels behind. I really want some of their territory. I'll declare Yan co belligerent, why not? So I do want to pull the, well, at least one of those guys back. And go siege Yan very quickly. Then we can go declare on their protectorates one after another very quickly. So we don't have that many troops over here, so let's build. Another 120,000, why not? You have the money. You have plenty of money. You have enough money to go up to 2 million troops. 2 million troops. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes, sir. And this siege will be so quick. It's not even funny, it's even a Four level below. It's only lo four level four. And only gives us a negative two modifier, probably because it was mothballed or something. Oh no, because of the obsolescence of forts, of course. Because lesser forts become obsolete, therefore their modifiers become obsolete. I'll take it for myself. Of course, I'll have money. Saxony, Switzerland, Austria, Papal State, Hansa. Wait, they are a vassal, okay. HRE. And Switzerland popped out again. Come on. I've just annexed you in the last war. Lorraine and Rutenberg. Give your old alliances back. But you're definitely not a prince, so. Be a very quick war as well. Let's look onto this war. You actually got into a battle? 
Interesting. <laughs> uh, there. Just start sieging some of their forts. I don't have to go uh, like all balls to the wall here. Actually took their core province for themselves. Well, you can also take some some more for yourself. Only take a little bit. They are getting ready to siege down to the last bit of my country though. And I ferry up the last forty thousand before I declare war on Poland. Which might be one of the last wars of this game. I like the way it looks now. Now it's sleek again. Now the nation is sleek and it's not a clusterfuck like it used to be. Getting the conversions done nicely. that Silk Road achievement. Despite having forgotten this one in the last war. No world conquest, but a very nice end to a great campaign. It had its ups and downs. But it certainly had its own charm. tomorrow will be a new campaign because I'm going to finish this no matter how long it takes today any wishes I mean I was thinking a uh, Dutch miner that was my original plan but so far I have had people saying that I should be playing a northern custom nation as a Norse or I had some people say that I should play Hormuz hmm what other what other did I have also just uh, some people asking me to play a more challenging nation than the Ottomans which I will next time great what's the next siege done for me I'll go and do the siege despite not having a true siege army. Any available? 
Yes, this guy. He's pretty damn good. He's not great, but he's good. <laughs> oh no. Shoot. Should have gained the piety. Oh well. It's not the world's end. Except for Saxony. Saxony, this is the last straw. Never mind, I guess. It won't be since, well, he will have some provinces left. Mainly due to the fact that I just don't have, or I just don't have the 75% reduction to the cost of their provinces, so. And they cost double because they're not a co belligerent. Who could I declare war on? Liege and the Hansa. Hansa, you don't say? Hmm. I want to see if I can't just piece them out and not get a coalition, though. It's not like everybody will join at once, so I still have options even if the coalition starts. Good, first each done. And again, we're going after the same principle of first sieging up the minor nations in the con conflict. She might should have gone here and just ignored Prussia for the first little bit. Good. Poland, you have had it good, my friend. You have had it very good. But it's time. <whistles> Conquest, reconquest, no. Imperialism. Yeah. Because it's the best CB. Revenge! Revenge! You shall die, Poland. I don't know where your armies are, but I will find them. I'll use a siege stack to great effect over here. Great revenge war for all the times Poland has been mucking up my plans. Which essentially the two wars I've been in with them. Wait. Wait. No leader armies versus no leader armies? Sure, why not? So the second big stack will arrive. Third smaller one. Over double their troops. Total. And we're getting crushed. Ouch. And they have a very good army composition. Just do it, they're Poland, I mean, come on. 
Let's see, why are we getting crushed? Much more morale. They did tech up over? No, they have. It's not tech up, it's just the discipline that they have. This point five discipline is just crushing us, despite our morale advantage. Well, there's the other half of the Polish army. Now, let's see. I'll have to find... Whatever is left of the Hanoverians. Where, were they, where are they at war? That is the question. So I can know where their troops could be. So is there nowhere else at war? Except in Bremen. Do we have their entire stacks in Bremen? Probably not. It's a very low probability. Let's see if we can actually get them. I doubt it. They only have one castle, but a very, very annoying one. the army especially for such a small puny nations nation come on just arrived long enough for the reinforcements I do have an amazing general there. Ooh. I'll get that and I'll get a general. Oh, please be good. Please be good. Come on. No, oh, he's he's okay, I suppose. He's no six four, but. I guess he uses a 6 4 against this 6 4 if he attacks here. Essentially, because he keeps us from having a river crossing penalty. So, sure, let's go in and destroy the army. So, there is the army of Han the Hanoverian army, so. We know where they all are. By the time we arrive there, they probably are getting a yeah, they're getting at least one tick of morale. And they might get some more reinforcements. We're losing a fair number of troops. But nothing too bad. 
Nothing that would really disable our armies from marching on. Crushing the poles. Guess we're rolling them up from the east then. That's the way they want it to be. You're recording, right? Yes, we are. Good. Ah, again, good for placement. We can't get there yet. We will be getting there, and let's drain Hanover's resources. Oh, and look at this beauty. Screw having the best army when you have the most troops. Those losses. Look at them. Um, we'll actually have to retreat with this army because the fifty thousand here are just just a bit too strong. Can I actually get up there? See, that's one of the weird things again. This should not work like that. I mean, yes, there are one province miner, but I should not be able to be a, to go through their fort. It's a build-up fort right here, and just because it's a one province miner, and it's, n I mean, he's in the alliance. He's a vassal. His fort should really count for this area around here, but it doesn't. It does not at all. So I can just move through it. a lot of forts for such a small country. with the general than my regular troops. Goes to show, don't underestimate your own guys. And we'll probably still win. Just needed the, the backup, and here's some more backup coming. So we'll probably just win, and... Ooh, some more Polish troops, though. offers. I think we'll win before they get here. Fairly certain. Again, Saxony's just a couple more sieges.
Stay there. Come over there, why not? Can do a bit of sieging here. Our Roman Empire has very few princes left. Ah. I wonder if the Holy Roman Empire is still very likely to form in the game. Like it used to be able to form as a crippled little state in here. Well, little and crippled is relative, but compared to the size of the Holy Roman Empire, usually it was able to form. If you played for long enough. I'm not sure anymore. I mean, Austria was quick through those first couple of reforms, but as soon as the internal wars happened, there was just no way that they would be able to do anything. Okay, look at that. We can stack our pan over and get them out of this war. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, there's they. Dwipe. Wow, they actually got a lot of morale back. Or well, maybe we can't wipe them. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, wipe. Great. Great. Great, strong, and powerful. Just make sure that we actually go and loot properly. Can't get there yet. Why not? Because of this one back here, I guess so. Oh, as soon as this one falls, we can swarm further into Poland. And again, this ward is it's just so quick. It's nice. This is how the other wars should have been. The good preparation. That's how you get to get it done. Oh, this one will be over soon. And of course some manpower. Should be able to take half of Ming in this war. I 
much of Poland? About a third. But something. <laughs> oh, loving this war. Just wrecking Poland. And I will, of course, be taking back all the core province plus then some. Also from Bohemia. Sadly, will be too big to fully annex. So it will also be too big to fully annex, sadly. I can get quite a bit of land from them. Maybe give a little bit of it to my vassal, but not at all of it. We have points to core. And we don't really have any more important tech ahead of us. I mean, level 32, I guess. Level 32 does give us another bit of production. Which will be nice. But again, that's all it will be nice, not... Not great, not amazing, not... Oh my god, we need it. Just nice. So I'll give the other pants... Those two. Maybe that third over here. So before... I'll be 9... 20... So it would be 19 overextension. Again, that's just amazing how they have no chance. They're essentially squirming at this point. I'm just trying to do something in here. Oh, there's just this huge amount of Ottomans streaming in. Taking their country by storm. pants. I thought they had a core on here, but apparently not. This is an auto pantheon core, so I should probably give it to them. Because they suffer no overextension from that. over here.
room to increase. Oh, I just built a siege sector, didn't I? Oh well. Siege sects are nice as well. very close to the limit and remind you that is the limit without building the special limit buildings like you can get a lot more land force limit by building them those buildings everywhere if you really really need it but I think that's absolutely only for the tallest of tall if you're building a very tall nation I hate the treasure fleet sound and how it pops up. It just always makes me think what I'm taking alone. It's just very annoying. Why am I taking alone? I don't think I need to take alone. 